Saturday morning. I'm heading to Gary's house. Uh, we both threw tags in Colorado for cow elk. So we're gonna shoot over there and hopefully we can get it done in just a couple days. morning one Gary and I are out here to fill our Colorado cow tags we got a little bit of a late start due to misplacing one of our tags so we had to meet up with the warden and get a new one but we have a pretty good idea where we're going so we're gonna hike up this ridge looks like it's about a mile and a half or so do some glassing and hopefully find some elk skittish because there's a lot of hunters out here or what but we're trying to figure out what way they went because behind me there's a lot of open country so if they went down there we might get to see them running across that and up above me where the ridge we were heading toward is on the other side of that there's a bedding area and if they went in there, there's a good chance we could catch them from up above them too. So we're just kind of backtracking and finding the tracks and see if we can see where they might have ran off. So a little, maybe a little longer. Gary glassed up this little book. Also saw a bull running through a meadow down there, but that's the only elk we've seen.
get your campfire. morning number two we just got up to the spot we're gonna park and walk up this ridge behind us and kind of work our way through some of the timber and stop and glass where we can really hoping we can get on a couple cows today feeling pretty optimistic So it looks like if we stay on this trail, it'll like wrap around and Casey said there's a point where you can glass and see quite a bit. Or we could just maybe even go fucking straight over the top of this. Yeah. I mean, you should be able to see some different stuff from up there too, right? Yeah. And I don't have a problem climbing that hill if it's going to, because it's going to kind of go to that same point. It's kind of around this corner, but instead I think we'll just pop over the top maybe. I think we could just, just as likely see something down in the bottom. Day two, it's not going very well. We, about five miles in, we haven't seen a single elk. Bumped elk. We saw a few really nice bucks, but don't have those tags. So. I think we're gonna wrap around the mountain on the side we can't see coming in, and then uh, make our way back out. This afternoon has been incredibly slow. We're kind of working our way back towards the truck and glassing some of the places we glassed this morning. But we haven't turned up anything since those deer this morning that we saw at first light. So it looks like if we get back and there's enough time, we might go drive and check up, check out this other spot that we got recommended to us. So. Hopefully we can find some today. Working to the left with that bull. I can't even see the bulls now. Oh, there's a bull walking. Day number three. We're checking out. 
about this spot where Gary glassed up a couple of elk last night. We're gonna get in here super early, get up on the glassing point, see if we can find something this morning. Saw a couple bulls. We th think there might have been a cow or two in there, so hopefully they're still hanging out in this same little opening. side of the ridge Gary found a little two by two not little actually I guess he said it's a big two by two so I might try to see if I can break up the spotter and see if I can get some video <laughs> some that are bedded or off this edge. You're at 317, last time I checked. Which ones are you looking at? For the, the one on your side or my side? So Gary spotted some elk coming over this ridge. Um, he tried to set up and he was having a hard time setting up because the brush here is so crappy. You can't, you can't really shoot off your bipod, your downhill. We were also pretty dang close, about 250 yards to 300 yards. Um, I set up on my backpack and I thought I had a good shot. I shot over the back of this cow and they all ran and then of course there were some other hunters down the ridge and they took a couple shots and so we still got eyes on the herd. They're about a thousand yards out so right now we're trying to close the distance again and get Gary a shot on one. He's, we're going to be running pretty quick to get over there so hopefully we can get him set up better. We're gonna try to get to this top of the top of this knob and see if we can see him and hopefully we can get Gary a shot. The last place we saw him was basically just on the other side of here. Reload. Alright, there's another one around. 
running and that one's still working at the back, right? Was that the one you were aiming at? See the one that's looking uphill? Yeah. I'm gonna just try to shoot it. Yeah. Oh, it's Oh, good. Fuck yeah, dude. She gets up to shoot her again. She's probably just like stunned, you know? That's like the whole point. You gotta wait till she she stays down. I couldn't see where you hit. Well, we came down and found Gary's elk. And we thought we'd go take a look over the ridge and see if any more of the herd was down there and get me a second shot. But we glassed them up. They're about two miles away. So we're gonna call it a day for hunting, I guess. And get Gary's cut up and back to the truck. And looks like we'll be headed home tomorrow. Time for some work. Chased them out for a while. And they just got too far out of reach. And into some public land. Tried making it back, and this sagebrush is just tall enough to where you can't see anything laying on the ground. And uh, we're about a ridge off from where we thought we shot. If you're standing, if you're up from where we were, pulse sage shoots look identical. I'll watch you walk away into the sunset. <laughs> Dude, my phone's already dead. How much do you think that thing weighs? 110? Mine's about, mine feels like 110, 115. Yeah. Anything to beat me, right? <laughs> Gotta be cooler, bro. <laughs> You having fun packing this shit out? <laughs> well, we got about 400 vertical feet already, so it should be mostly downhill from now. Well, we made it back. I don't know, I think we were going about three and a half miles per hour, which is fucking bombing. Uh, amazing time. Said we had 400 foot elevation. That we had to go up the ridge and then slowly come back down to the truck it was the quickest way but we're burning how are you feeling g oh, legs are on the verge of cramping let's get you some water 